Honors Algebra 2, Chapter 3, Section 8, to solve using inverses. So matrices, we're going to solve systems of equations using matrices. Let's first review some basic solving. So if we solve this for x, um, we know the answer is 2, we can see that, but what do you do to solve it? So right now we're multiplying by 3, so then we need to do the inverse operation. The opposite operation is to divide by 3, so then we get the 2. Here we're multiplying by one half, so we do the inverse multiply by two over one. Here we're adding two, so we do the inverse additive inverse, subtract two. Again, we're multiplying by two thirds, so we do the multiplicative inverse multiply by three halves. So the whole point of this is showing how we're using inverses to solve all these. We've done that in the past. That's all we're going to do again. We're just going to do it with with the matrices. So I also want to review multiply matrices. We do a row by column, so that's going to be 2 plus 15. And then row by a second column, that's going to be 8 plus 6. Second row, first column, that's 4 plus 5. And then the second row, second column, that's 16 plus 2. So the result here is 17. 14, 9, and 18. So this would be the matrix. Should you know the pattern of how to multiply matrices? It's a confusing one until you get the hang of it. So what we're going to do is find inverses. Um, two by two is we do by hand. Uh, and so we're going to find the, if we have a matrix A, which is A, B, C, D, we can find the inverse by hand by following this formula. So a is invertible, which means it has an inverse. And if you do A times D minus B times C is not equal to zero. So this right here is the determinant. We spoke about this previous section, the determinant of A, the downward diagonal minus the upward diagonal. So that portion, the determinant, is the denominator in the formula to find the inverse. The inverse, we use the notation of a to the negative 1. This means inverse. So inverse is a to the negative 1. Um, and that comes back to our exponent rules about uh, a to the negative 1 is equal to 1 over a. It's, it's kind of dividing, doing the inverse. And so we follow this formula where we have 1 divided by the determinant multiplied by a new matrix where the downward diagonals uh, position has changed and the upward diagonal has become opposite. So we take this example here, if we want to find the inverse of this matrix 2 by 2, which we can do by hand, the inverse, if I call this matrix A, the inverse of A is going to be 1 over the determinant. So it's the downward diagonal, negative 3, minus the upward diagonal, negative 4. So be careful with your signs and think you can see that downward minus the upward. And then we're going to multiply by a matrix where the downward diagonal flips spots. So it becomes negative 3, 1. The position of the downward diagonal switches. And the upward diagonal becomes opposite. So this one becomes negative 2. This one becomes positive 2. And these are not flipping spots. We're just changing the sign. We can this one positive, this one negative. It's all we do for the upward. And so the fraction here is equivalent to 1 over negative 3 plus 4, 1. And so it's not a very interesting one because we're going to multiply it by 1. But this becomes the inverse matrix. So this matrix, negative 3, 2, negative 2, 1, is the inverse of this matrix. So it undoes what this matrix would do if you're multiplying by it. So inverse matrices for 3 by 3. For 3 by 3 matrices, we're, we're not going to be doing this by hand. There's a method. It's more complicated. We're going to use this function on the calculator. So if we go to the calculator and we plug in this matrix, this matrix A. If you just type in matrix A and then inverse, you'll find the inverse matrix. So the inverse key, which on the calculator is x to the negative 1, that key will find the inverse. The issue is for this one, if we look at the determinant, just the determinant reviewing from uh, yesterday, the determinant of this matrix, so the downward diagonal would be 0 plus 0 
plus 0 minus, that's downward, 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 0, 0, and 0, minus 0 plus 0 plus 0, the determinant of this is 0. And so when we're finding that the inverse matrix is 1 over 0 times the matrix, which we can't do that. We cannot have 0 in the denominator. We can't divide by 0. So this one actually has no inverse because it's uh, not invertible because it has a determinant equal to 0. So that does happen from time to time with matrices. They don't have inverses. If we did want to find the inverse of this and it was invertible, if you just put this in the calculator as x to the negative 1, it will find it for you. So the 3 by 3 is just use a calculator. So solving. So we want to solve this equation for x. We want to get x isolated. We need to divide both sides by a. But we're not going to say we're going to divide by a. That's the same thing as me saying let's multiply by 1 over a. So we can say it's multiply both sides by 1 over a. But we're not going to do that either. Dividing by a is the same thing as me saying a to the negative 1. So we are actually going to multiply both sides by a to the negative 1. When you do that, the order doesn't matter because we want to make sure we can multiply two matrices. Well, this is really an inverse matrix of a times b. So the order matters to make sure that the, uh, the multiplication can still occur for matrices. So an example of that. If we're trying to solve for this matrix x, we don't know what this matrix x is, but we're going to multiply these two matrices together to find a new matrix. We're going to find what matrix x would be. To find that, we could multiply both sides. If I call this matrix A, we can multiply both sides by the inverse of A. And so if we do that, x, matrix x, is going to equal the inverse of A, which we then need to find. So let's find the inverse of A. Inverse of A is going to be 1 over the determinant, so that's the downward diagonal, negative 16, minus the upward diagonal, negative 15, times the matrix for the downward diagonal, the spots have flipped, and the upper diagonal it just becomes opposite. So negative 16 minus negative 15 is just negative 1. It's really negative 1 times this matrix. So we're just going to make the matrix opposite. So it's going to become 8, negative 5, 3, and negative 2. So this will be the inverse matrix of A. So to find x, we're going to take the inverse of A, and we're going to multiply it by both sides and get x by itself. When we multiply the inverse of a times a, those reduce out. So we just end up with x. We have an inverse of a here times 8, 1. And so we multiply these matrices. So now we're just multiplying matrices. We're going to have 64 minus 5, so 59. And then 24 minus 2, so 22. So this should be the matrix for matrix x. You can check that by taking and multiplying the 2, negative 5, 3, negative 8 times the 59, 22 to find the answer. So we have inverse in systems where, again, we have Ax equals B. We call A as the coefficient matrix. B is the constant matrix. The solution is always found by doing the inverse of A times B. And it goes back to what we were just talking about. The equation can be solved for X by multiplying both sides by the inverse of A. And the inverse has got to come first here. So those reduce out. So x is the inverse of a times b, and that's the process. So you realize that a and b are going to be a matrices. So if we have a system, the first thing we have to do here is actually write the system in matrix form. So the coefficient matrix is the coefficients of the variables. So 1, negative 2, 2, negative 3. We're going to multiply that by the variable matrix, x, y. And that equals the solution matrix, 4, 2. If we were to multiply these two matrices together, we would go right back to the system. These are equivalent ways of writing the system. It's like the 1 times the x is 1x, negative 2 times y is negative 2y equals 4. So that's how you write this equation. So they are equivalent ways of writing that. Now to solve for this variable matrix, we want to isolate it. So let's multiply. Again, we're calling this matrix A. 
So let's multiply by the inverse of a to both sides, and then it's going to come first here. So then the solution matrix xy is going to be found by doing the inverse of a times 4, 2. So let's do it by hand real fast. 1 over negative 3 minus negative 4 times negative 3, 1, negative 2, 2. Guess what? This is the same matrix that we started off with. So that's 1, so we end up with the negative 3, 2, positive 2, negative 2, 1. So that's the inverse matrix. This is going to be inverse A. So we're going to take that matrix here and multiply it by 4, 2. So you're going to get negative 12 plus 4, or negative 8. And then negative 8 plus 2, or negative 6. So then these is the resulting matrix, which means we have the point x equals negative 8, y equals negative 6. That's the solution to the system. So that's it for 3, 8. It's actually it for chapter 3. It's the last section. So believe it or not, we're going to be done with chapters 1, 2, and 3. We only have chapters 4, 5, and 6 left. So that's kind of the midway point of the trimester. So yippee. Um, before I leave, I thought, for all you are asking about me being stuck in the corner, I thought I, I could see I'm not in a corner. I'm actually in my family room, so I can make you dizzy. So I turn the TV off. So I'm not stuck in the corner. I'm actually in a little room. But thanks. Have a good night. Good job. See you tomorrow.